Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to be notified every time I make a brand new video because I make videos every three days or so. Today I'm going to be doing something that I don't do a lot of. I've done two other videos very similar to this before. It is something that I'm very much into and my channel has always reflected like my personality and my interests and stuff. So I obviously want to keep re very true to that and everything. Today we're going to be doing something that I, that comes with a disclaimer and you know a video is going to be good when it comes with a disclaimer <laughs> but this is something that you know it's going to be very light-hearted um, I do I wouldn't usually read people if they haven't asked for one for a reading and I wouldn't usually like just dip into people's private lives and do stuff like this so I just want to say this is just gonna be something quite fun and light-hearted nothing like crazy or serious is gonna come out of this because that's not my place to, to unless like one of these people came forward and was like can you look into my cards thoroughly I would do that. I have got a couple of other videos that break down in a very beginner friendly way of how I read tarot. If you're interested in those I'm going to leave a link down there and one of those videos actually, well one was a reading on myself and another was a reading on Shane Dawson so I've already done this type of video a while ago but in this video I'm actually going to, well I'm going to be doing Shane again um, but a smaller reading for him because I'm going to fit two others in this video too. I kind of left it down to you guys who you wanted me to, uh, no I didn't say that, sorry. I asked you guys on my Instagram story who you think is like the best YouTuber right now, who's everyone watching, that kind of thing. It was definitely without a doubt Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star and James Charles. It's a really good uh, like bunch of people for me to focus in on because I've watched Shane since I was little, I know quite a lot about him, I know, I mean, the amount that he puts out online anyway, I know of. Then there's James, who I only got into like two years ago or so, so I don't know too much about him. And then there's Jeffree Star, who I basically know next to nothing. So how this video is going to go down is it's just going to be a bit of fun. Um, I'm just going to do what I would usually do as a small reading. I do, I, I probably bore you guys about this, but I do my own readings. I know I always talk about this. If you want to book one, then I always leave an email down there in my video description. Um, they're like video readings. I like record a video and I send the people the video, but I do a small reading and a longer reading. My, my smaller reading is basically what I'm going to be doing on each of these people. So I'm going to start off with lovely Shane. Now I'm going to be honest here. I usually use <laughs> pictures for me to, to focus on. People, some people ask like, why do I use pictures? And it's generally just so I have something to look at and focus in on because names, I don't really feel hold anything. You could give me a false name, but if I have your picture, I I still will do the same results. So for Shane, <laughs> all these three guys I actually found really hard to find like raw natural pictures of because I know Shane, bless his heart, like he doesn't think of himself as highly as he should. I think he's very attractive and good looking. He doesn't have a lot of pictures of himself. He doesn't generally take a lot of selfies. And then there's James who I know edits a lot of his selfies. Same with Jeffree Star. So these three guys, like that, even though they're very opposites in some ways, they're very similar too. So I was like, hmm, okay, this is gonna be hard for me to find a raw image. <laughs> so I'll just basically hold the cards in my hands like this. Uh, I've already done like my meditation and like my ritual, I suppose, but off camera, cause I find that weird. And I got a picture up for Shane that <laughs> he looks trust AF in, but I was drawn towards because it was really raw and it was him just editing like his latest documentary, I think, and it just looks really cute. So I picked that one. The first thing I would do is usually focus in on any emotions or weird things that happen, like things can go tingly, like my finger can start hurting or weird things like that. Now that's more like a mediumship thing. I'm not a medium. I don't generally feel or see anything, but I'm working on it. I'm trying my best to work on those things. The only thing I will say that that just came through because I always say anything like if something happens so I will say that I just had like an overwhelming <laughs> feeling <t> <laughs> it's gonna sound mental oh my god Ellie's mental I had like an overwhelming feeling of crying like to cry mm, you're gonna think I'm nuts but I mean I know I've seen him cry so this is this is the difficult thing this is why you don't read yourself generally or people close to you because you know them so you make assumptions and that's bad you should just go with your intuition but if I didn't know Shane I would say like he's the type to cry when he's happy a lot but I know he is anyway because I've seen him do it but it seems like a, a really like overwhelming cry rather than like a Ugh, I'm sad cry so that's weird I don't know if he's doing that now I'm not sure so for Shane we're gonna pull out a past present and future position this is just gonna show me a little bit about what he's going through right now what sort of things that he's dealing with past present and future let's get grooving okay seven of cups for those of you interested in tarot and know anything about tarot 
lots of options and very, oh, once again, overwhelming with decisions to make, projects to dip into, which one do I do first? So I would say he's probably had lots of creative energy around him. I'd say he's been very recently coming up with lots of ideas and he doesn't know which one to pursue. And I'd say he, he I definitely wouldn't say that this man has, he's run out of any ideas. I would say if you like Shane, if you watch Shane, I'd say he's got a lot of other things that he's ready to make after the last thing he's made. I'd say, I'd assume he's got some sort of book or diary that he writes things down maybe that's on his phone but I'd say he he's constantly coming up with new stuff and sometimes that does make him a little bit confused about where his content's going that's for sure but I do think that means that he's never going to have a dry spell really even though it might feel like sometimes to him you know oh I've got creative block I don't know where I'm going like oh, there's too many things that I want to do and all that that doesn't necessarily mean that that's not a bad thing I would say that just means he can sometimes lose focus in uh, where he's heading where he's directing his energy into. I think um, he can sometimes be overwhelmed by his own ideas and his own imagination and with a platform like YouTube, like with a life that he has which is very um, open and stuff, like you can literally make whatever you want on this platform and he's got the audience that will be very open to him changing direction and stuff. He probably, make that probably makes him struggle a bit more because it means like the world is literally his oyster and I feel like sometimes and very recently he's like like where do I go like what do I do next and that might um, stress him out a little bit he might need other people to give him a bit of sense of direction he might be quite close to his particular like group because they kind of help him you know lead the way and like set forth somewhere that that will go successfully for him he might struggle a little bit with his own brain in that way it's a great thing to be creative and have a lot of ideas and to have like so many things that he wants to do and pursue but that can sometimes be a setback as well presently okay this is a reverse card so reverse reversal cards is generally the the de definition of the card but on its head so literally in reverse now in general this card upright is a really lovely card it's about milestones it's about reaching a goal because this guy's on a horse and he's got these wands and he's like woo this is like a victory card this is like a well done you made it you got to the place you wanted to be and this is like him on his horse leading others he's a bit of a leader and he's like showing other people the way it's so basically seeing this after the cup card where it's very overwhelmed and stuff this is definitely like the point from here to here he's definitely picked an idea pursued the idea and he's like aced it so this is a really cool conclusion to happen after this um, this is about harnessing strength and talents and doing something great with them to produce a really beautiful outcome this is minimizing distractions and focusing on the task at hand which sometimes the cup card we spoke about earlier can be a little bit of a distraction you know those cups can also represent all the distractions he's got going on he's like overwhelmed by so many things at once so this is a little bit of the polar opposite so maybe he's the type of person to dip in and out of that so he will allow himself to just like let go and just be distracted and chill out and have fun and then he's like focus in pew 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 and then he comes out again it's like a dip in and out sort of person who would generally really struggle if they weren't self-employed and they didn't work for themselves because you know when you when you're working for someone else you can't you, you can't do that you have to just constantly be on it but he's got the freedom to sort of dip in and out and I think he's in a really good space for doing that. This is also a public acknowledgement as well. Now people are going to say like mm, you know him so you know he's probably going for this but I didn't pick these cards out deliberately like I placed them down I cut them you watched me I didn't fake that so this is a public acknowledgement card as well not only are you achieving your goals but you're getting praise for it as well and it's a big boost of confidence it's a big it's just a really nice card because there's people around this man they're behind him so they see him they acknowledge him he's their leader because he's very inspiring like the work he has done but we need to remember this is on its head now the the meaning doesn't change too much although i will say it's it this might be more of a focus of internal uh, achievement right now so although you might think it's like his external youtube stuff like he's done well on that i feel like there's something else about the work he's recently done that's really internally helped him once again i don't know him personally so i wouldn't know if this is true and he's not here to tell us but this is reaching some sort of form of personal milestone 
but being very internal and private with it right now. This is someone who wants to keep it to themselves right now and this is also someone who might feel a little bit uncomfortable with public praise so although he might be receiving public praise and a lot of people have a lot of nice things to say about him right now it generally makes him feel a little bit uncomfortable but that doesn't mean he doesn't deserve it I'm just it's just like a personal thing I think some people like to be praised and some people don't and he's not really the type who likes that it might actually make him feel a little bit like awkward and look <laughs> but if he was here uh, if he was my client which oh my god dreams can come true um, I would say to him like it, are you being quiet and personal about this because you lack confidence like I would say you have every right to be confident right now and it's it, and confidence isn't ugly maybe he feels as though confidence isn't attractive not that he wants to be attractive but you know what I'm saying like when you're in the public eye you don't want to be too overconfident because it looks bad uh, you don't want to be too underconfident because that's not interesting I don't know this is just the feelings I'm getting <laughs> this, this also might be someone who's focusing a lot on other people's uh, sense of success so this card sometimes a bit about comparing themselves to others so he might might be on the lookout for other people's approval a bit too much um, validation from other people which I think comes with the job of being in the entertainment industry anyway I don't think that's anything new at all I think that that's just the way of of being in this type of world but I would say that never you know nothing that's not an excuse to put other people before yourself so I would encourage him if he were here <laughs> this is the awkward thing about doing this because I don't know what really is gonna come from this video but you know you need to ask yourself what does success mean to me forget them for a little bit what does success mean to you and once you've realized that go and get it and I feel like maybe with this that might be the struggle with it like once he's asked himself what success means to him and then once he knows that he can make much clearer and precise decisions and it, it, he'll be directed in a much easier way he won't be confused and overwhelmed as much this sometimes also dips slightly in reversal into something that's you know some criticism some public criticism so although you're dealing with success some with some success comes criticism and that's okay because this card's about like moving he's on a horse any cards that got horses on they're generally moving on and it doesn't matter you know you've done your piece people can say what they want and it's just about like your journey now it's it's not really about stopping and and looking into what everyone's saying and okay I've done my piece now let's move on to the next thing particularly with people that uh, that have your back because he's moving on with other people so it's about moving on with the right people and it's leaving the rest behind be humble and remain around people that that keep you humble and remain around a crowd that you would like to be like yourself because you soak in that kind of energy if you're around people that are quite egotistical and big-headed and they like talk about all their successes all the time you're probably gonna like slowly move into that sort of energy kind of thing and also with that ego stuff um, it, it's probably more so like I, I can just sense a lot of like very cautious and careful moves in the sense of what I was saying earlier about like being too confident in the public eye might come across as bad and therefore it will make you like um, make your success kind of tainted a little bit because people are res people might be responding to to you know how he, how he's reacting to his success I wouldn't say like Oh, you need to be careful that you're not egotistical it's more so about you need to be careful if you act in any way egotistical because people will jump on conclusions and jump on a bandwagon and be like this guy's big-headed future car this is anything that is in the air in the energy what's vibrating in the near future that sounds weird oh this is a really nice bread this is knight of pentacles it's another horsey card but it's this is really nice this is continuing on with that same kind of energy as before but this is more so well it's a night so it represents work it represents effort and responsibility we've gone from like a different kind of feeling though like before these are more creative um because cups and wands are generally quite a creative suit whereas with this one this feels more methodical and detailed orientated um, so this is def it, definitely a different kind of feel this is more like having a plan in place this is sticking to a schedule to get the job done this in general is a very different feeling to the previous card so although he was a little bit like unsure about where to go and a bit overwhelmed by his options and stuff this in a sense is like completely the opposite this is having a plan this is knowing where to go this is knowing where it's at this is being consistent dedicated committed and 
putting one foot forward and finishing the job. This is continuing to plod on and make gradual process because the horse isn't running, he's stood still. So this is being very slow and particular about it and very careful, which is really good. And I would say to anyone who's recently had success to, to think about their next move because when you're in a high up place, like, you don't want to run with that and like end up just meh. You, <laughs> meh. you kind of want to like keep that energy and vibe and creative nature and think very carefully about where you want to process onto, progress onto, sorry. Tarot readers don't tell you the be all end all. Tarot reading is about saying what's in the future like at this point in time so it can change. I don't like it's a butterfly effect so you never truly know. Tarot reading's mostly important because if, the, if he sat here and something came up, I can be like, just be careful about that, or here's, here's what's to help you if you're struggling with this. That kind of thing, it's more advice. It tells you a sense of direction that could happen in order to give you like, is it, I see it as like a cheat. Like you, It's like seeing the end of a film and being like, ooh, I can change how the ending goes because it's your freaking life. I would just say that I think he's not gonna be changing in direction anytime soon. If anything, he's planning to make something bigger. He is concreting up something that is bigger. And there's a reason to plan for something here because there's a big project that needs lots of planning. Um. This can sometimes just mean the mundane stuff, kind of the boring stuff. He might have like a lot of finance stuff or like housey stuff to deal with right now. Something that I will say is I feel perhaps Shane might be the type of person who wants to change things up and shake things up a little bit and do something new and blah blah blah. But he's like at the moment put in a place where he knows what's been tried and tested and he knows what works and what's proving to show results and what's reaping rewards that kind of thing and he's sticking to that for the for the time being not because it's not true to him because it very much is but you know it's a very businessy thing to 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 try loads of things out in life know what works know what doesn't and even though you might be the type of person who like wants something fresh all the time sometimes you just got to kind of stick to the stuff that you know because as a business person, as a business head, that's gonna work better for your business, obviously. Because with the Knight of Pentacles, it's it's sometimes about things not necessarily being very exciting. Because the thing that comes after this kind of card is success. Because planning, planning hard enough, always equals to success. So I wouldn't be surprised if straight after this card, something else. I, the thing is with Shane, I don't, <laughs> uh, I don't see him in any time soon coming to a point of his life where he, doesn't like see success in front of him which is really lovely i would say he's he's very good at like um manifesting i would see i see he's got lots of like manifesting energy around him which basically means ooh, which basically means if you think it and feel it you achieve it so if you think about something hard enough if you work on something hard enough he's one of those people that can like make it happen and i think that's a really inspiring thing and he's got so much to be inspired about for and it makes me so happy to see that he's getting the attention that he needs not not that he needs not sorry that that he is because i feel like other people need it we need a good role model on this platform we don't need someone who i'm not even gonna name any names right now we need someone who's good at showing how to work hard and we need someone curious and we need some fun we need someone we need shame anyway i'm gonna pull out the last card now which is going to be his advice card this is my most exciting one i do one on myself i mean i only pull out advice cards for me actually and advice cards basically tell you anything you might need to know to help you in the situation that you're in which in this case is fairly pointless because he's not here maybe someone knows him and can tell him <laughs> i don't know okay the hierophant this is a set of rules and set of beliefs as a upright card this can be quite religious and this is basically like sticking to your upbringing and and how you were raised and that kind of thing but it is on its head so as advice this is to basically go against the grain to upset the status quo and don't let any rules intimidate you because some rules are supposed to be broken and i would say to to whoever it was sat here shane or not if they got this card in their advice space i would say to not follow the leader or be the sheep. He might be thinking about something right now which is a bit different and a bit out of ordinary for his 
um, industry. And if he was, if he was to sit in front of me and tell me that he's definitely doing that right now, I would say don't worry about the fact that it's different. And I would say don't worry if it's a little bit of, out of your norm and maybe for a long time he's wanted to freshen things up a bit and do something, something even more so different than he already is. Not that he's doing anything too dramatically different, but maybe at the moment he's sort of testing the waters to see how people respond to a type of content that hasn't typically been done by a lot of YouTubers and needs to be encouraged about that, like needs to be told that he should let his own, you know, ethics dictate his next move, which is exciting. I wonder what that could be. Be true to yourself, create your own traditions, jump out of your tradition. If that's your family tradition, friends, work, something needs to be done that's a bit more freeing. Keeping options open, which is why we had the overwhelming option card. Maybe like the majority of those cups were tradition, things that he felt he had to do because of X, Y, Z. And there was one or two there that was a bit more risky and loose because he is in a world that's, that's very like, you know, you want the validation from other people. And we spoke about that earlier on. So this is more so about having the validation of yourself. Um, maybe at the moment he's very much working for other people and f and doing the things that he feels that they want. Ooh, okay, very exciting. That's him done. That went a little bit on, that went on for a little bit longer than I imagined. So we'll try and do the other, the other two fairly quickly. <laughs> Whoa, okay. But now I'm getting like jittery. I feel like going, ooh, like my brain feels like it's vibrating. And I'm getting like, me, 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 energy. <laughs> Woo, like, you know when someone always sh sits with a shaky leg? I have no idea if he does that, but that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. I'm getting a shaky leg. And once again, it was hard to find a picture and I am displaying the picture that I'm using on the left just in case anyone's interested. Um, and this one I'm using because it seems quite natural. I think they are drawn on freckles, but hey ho, it's a really not, he's got such a natural, lovely face. I love his hairline, I love his eyebrows. His eyes are pretty. What a cute nose he has and his lips. The jitteriness is gone. Oh no, just as I said that, it started coming back. Okay, so I think with Shane, I'm gonna say that he, his channel for the most part has been all about variety, but I think, I don't think that's gonna be the case for a while. I think he's gonna really rein in his focus. Cards are flying around. I get, I'm getting jittery energy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Past, ooh, present and future. Okay, so immediately he got the hermit in the past. For this I generally mean like very recently, so six months. I always see this like six months now and six months in the future. So hermit cards about inner, this is what it looks like if any of you are interested. It's about inner soul searching. This is, he's on the top of a mountain and he's got a little light on him. He's like, mm, I need to find myself because he's put himself on this mountain. This isn't, when someone sees hermit, they're like, mm, I don't like that card. I didn't like that card when I first saw it anyway. This guy has put himself on the mountain to do some soul searching. So I would say whoever has this card in their past position means they have been on the lookout for some really inner deep stuff. This is like questioning your purpose. Why are you here? What are you here to do? And he's possibly looking down at everyone else because he maybe he's been thinking about what their purpose is, what they've got to do, uh, but this guy um, will then question afterwards what it is then that is left for him and what kinds of things that he should be doing for himself and what, what kinds of things is important to him rather than other people. That being said, this, is, this also can mean just doing some form of project or just dealing with something, going through something that you've had to do on your own for whatever reason that is. This is whatever it is that he's doing, it's on his own back and he's very much, I wanna say isolated, but not necessarily in a negative way. This can just be something that you've had to do on your own for whatever reason. He, This is someone who wouldn't necessarily have someone to support him if things flopped, he's got his own stuff, he's doing his own things for his own reasons. He doesn't depend on anyone, he's very independent. And I know that James is very young, so this is important because I think that not many other people will get this at the age of 19, I think he is. However, I will say sometimes this can slightly lean towards being in a negative crowd or being around people that don't serve you or don't aren't on your level in the sense of like energy and vibe. Sometimes he might put himself with people that his soul doesn't 
like connect with properly as in like when you see a group of your friends you're supposed to feel buzzed and inspired afterwards but he might not <laughs> might not necessarily feel that way and i think sometimes he might isolate himself to get that that creative energy and space back but that might just be like a location thing he might be living somewhere that he doesn't feel he fits in entirely like he might fit in you know externally but internally maybe not so yeah all i would say if he was here is to be careful with who, like be very cautious of who you hang out with and the time that you have on your own needs to be balanced out with the time you spend with other people and also i would maybe even advise him to do some meditation to work on your intuition and if you ever struggle with what it is that you should be doing or need to do the answer is within yourself and the easiest way to hear your inner self is to be quiet and listen to soft music and that is ladies and gentlemen meditation because we're all constantly like this 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 we're doing so much just constantly trying to get things done that actually that might have been the jittery energy i just put two and two together then um we're so like we me 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 we've got to do all this um but we're not like shutting down for a bit we don't shut down other than sleep which i don't think really counts just take things in like for a computer we would we would put it to sleep when we're not using it anymore and sometimes we need to do that for ourselves as like a self-care kind of thing Ah, oh, his present card though, the star, is a really nice card and it, once again, <laughs> you guys are going to be like, well, you probably fixed that because this sounds too crazy, but the star of wonder, star of light, generally can actually mean a literal star, as in like a person, a famous person, someone who is a star, like I'm talking not an actual star in the sky, but famous which is weird. If you don't believe me, look it up. I'm not making this stuff up, I promise. <laughs> and this person's naked, so it's about stripping yourself bare, possibly after like a period of destruction of some sort, if there's anything that he's recently gone through, which kind of relates to this hermit energy. And it's, it's about like realizing your core essence, who you are beneath all the layers. That's why she's naked, she's vulnerable. No matter what life throws her way, you know, she's holding like a new sense of self. It's like a new appreciation of your, your core, which, is a very typical thing to see after the hermit card, you know? I would say he's gone through this recent like progression of finding himself and realizing what it is that he, you know, what makes him blossom, what makes him grow. This is like a renewed self a sense of faith as well and, and hope and this is about being blessed. This is a really just, Everyone will want to see the star card because it's about having a blessed energy. He, this, this is someone who is blessed. Mental stability. This is, this is like an anything is possible kind of feeling. This is allowing yourself to dream, um, aiming for the stars and actually reaching the stars. So this is, yeah, a very nice card, basically. But I would say it came after a time that maybe wasn't so much that way. I would say that maybe the advice I gave for the previous card is stuff that he took, uh, that he actually did take on board and didn't need to hear. That was the progress of what he needed to go through to get to this space right now where he suddenly feels like, this is what I want, this is what I want. This is very similar to Shane's really in a way. It's asking yourself what you want, what's right for you, and having that sense of inspiration and purpose back again because this is definitely very like opposites opposite cards so i would say what he, what he feels now i don't know if any of you know of him saying this at all but what he feels now is very different to how he used to feel very recently and that might even be the people in his life he may have recently had to do a little bit of decluttering when it comes to friends and whatever around him because this can be sometimes stripping away all the like deceptions and facades that kind of thing so he might have literally done a lot of clearing out when it comes to that I'm also getting an itchy palm of hand. What does it mean when you get an itchy left? I'm gonna look that up actually. Itchy left palm. I'm sure that means something. There's an old superstition that when your palms itch, it means money. An itching left palm means money to be paid out, while an itching right palm is money to come in. That is bit bonkers. Just as I was about, like, just as I was opening my mouth and then I had an itchy arm. The star's about wealth, but more so sharing your wealth so you're receiving a lot of money but this is about giving it away as well being generous with it this is someone with a very open heart this is someone who might f have a lot of money but that doesn't stop them from ever give from ever you know some people it's funny because the, the richest people sometimes are the most stingiest and they don't share anything and the tightest kind of people but with this person i would say no like with what comes in it goes out into other people that they love which is lovely 
Ooh. <laughs> Upright, the tower card is usually, in a, in a general term, unexpected dramatic changes to shake things up, to push you out of your literal tower here to... I mean, the tower card is, is represented mostly by just this tiny little image here, which tarot like to do. They put this little image here, and that represents like the whole thing, basically. Because this little image is lightning. It's unexpected. You don't know when it's going to hit. You don't know where it's going to come from. And it hits you and makes an impact. So the tower card is pretty much a very destructive card, but that's not necessarily a negative thing. We did get it in reverse as well. So <laughs> this is definitely about some form of dramatic transition. This is a breakthrough moment. This is something when it's reversed, I always see it as coming from like as upwards. So the lightning's coming from, from the ground. So that's not the way like traditional to us lightning works. So I always see when this is reversed as change that you've kind of made yourself. So this is a much better side to see this card on in my personal opinion because this is change that you've brought yourself and this is change that you're making and I would say there's something coming personally once again I'm not going to say this is 100% true this is stepping into a new and involved version of himself and something that will set him on a new path for sure but if he was here which unfortunately he isn't I would say if that if this moment comes where change is needed in some way to not be um, reluctant of it to let the change happen because I think it's a good thing don't cling on to like an old belief or a system particularly if he knows that it's not relevant or helpful or healthy or serving him anymore now this doesn't necessarily mean it's anything easy definitely like a life lesson for him at the time it happens but the, but growth but growth in this card go hand in hand things are gonna be broken like old habits and beliefs and things are going to be like shaken up and the concrete's going to be like cracked and it's going to be a really good thing. It's scary possibly at the time but it's happening in your favour eventually. But if I'm going to be honest here, he, if he was sat here I would say he already knows the change that is about to come into motion. Just let it happen because, thing, because things are a blessing in disguise half the time. So well most of the time because things need to happen for a reason and just don't be frightened of it. This is more like days. This is even, maybe even so hours. This might even be something he's going through right the second. Now is a good time actually to do his advice card because for situations like this, it's perfect because let's see what kind of advice he might need. We're gonna cut once, twice, three times. And his advice is the world card. This is actually the card that sits on the uh, front of the box that I use. Um, she has a circle, she's a naked woman floating around in the middle of a circle <laughs> because she represents a cycle. This when it comes to creative people and people working on projects and stuff, this is always going to be about finishing an old project. Completing or being physically done with or like mentally done with some form of phase or something that is ready to be finished with. Something that isn't serving you anymore or something that needs to be finished because it's a project that you've had for a long time. This is bringing something to an end and coming and bringing something to a close. I would say to someone who is in an industry like him, like a business head, I would say this is, this is suggesting going global, you know, becoming more visible. And although he's already like out there, he's already pretty freaking international. <laughs> as it is, this is still in some way about expanding a brand. So I would say to him, something about your brand needs to be expanded and stretched out in some way. If any of you know what this might be relating to, let me know in the comments. But he might be thinking about something that involves, this is about closure as well with old relationships. It can be just about relationships. Put that chapter to the end and forgive forget, move on. This is about closing that part of the book and we spoke about relationships at the beginning of his reading so that could definitely be talking about this too. Perhaps this is more so like a trip when it comes to the world thing. He might be talking of releasing some sort of world tour that he wants to do and this card would be saying yes do it. If you're thinking about traveling the world, taking a trip, this is saying yes go for it. <laughs> the world awaits. It's saying go and see me. And last but not least, I am going to move in with Jeffree Stars. This is gonna be the most difficult for me because I don't have a clue about him. Past, present, future. Ooh, okay, we've had relaxation, peace, rest. 
don't know I'm doing that. The Four of Swords. So this is taking a time to do some healing, to relax, to rest. I don't know a single thing about Jeffrey's current position, can I just say. So if anyone knows anything, let me know. But this is about staying still and taking things in and resting up and contemplating, like thinking over some things, or maybe this is physical rest for an actual physical reason. This is gaining the energy ready for the next step, which I guess will be revealed in a minute, but this is taking the break, taking the time, healing yourself, healing your energy, taking time out your busy schedule to restore the energy. This might be like stress and tension that's like built on top of him for some whatever reason, um, but it's needing to, to refresh that concentration and focus. People generally get this card when they are very like, go, 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 and they've got that sort of attitude of like, getting things done. Even though, I feel like with this, I'm getting the feeling of like, forcedness to take a break. I don't necessarily feel like he felt as though he had to. He kind of, no, he felt as though he wanted to. It was more so that he had to. Because now isn't the time to make any decisions. Now is the time to relax, to go on holiday, to take a step away, to take a break. Spend time with your loved ones, travel to a new destination, um, take a day off work. That kind of feeling you get with this card. This is one of my favorite cards because it's like, ah, when I see it, I'm like, if I get this as, as advice, I'm like, yeah, I can take a holiday. Why? Because the four of swords told me. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily need to be like a good thing. Sometimes this needs to be done because there's a sense of loss. Sometimes this can be connected with health stuff as well, whether he might have recently lost someone close to him, this can sometimes mean a little bit of grieving, or just loss of something that needs time to heal for, um, pain, conflict, distractions, that kind of thing. This is ne definitely not wasted time by the way, this isn't just sitting on your ass and doing nothing, because this is very much about reflection as well. Reflecting over each major challenge in order for you to step forward in a very, very, in a very successful and good way. <laughs> We've got Shane's cards come up again. So this is once again being overwhelmed with options and opportunities, where to go, having a loss of sense of direction again. This is quite common to be fair, like we've had very typical creative people readings because this is a very creative sort of, I'm getting the itchy palm again, giving money. Um, but no, this is once again like having an overwhelming feeling of where to go. And with all creative people, sometimes things get like that. And after a time of reflecting and thinking over, perhaps it's about the same thing. Perhaps there needs to be some sort of spark of inspiration and a feel of sense of direction to where Jeffrey feels like he needs to be right now. Now this is, this is sometimes always being about in the next big thing phase. So being like constantly trying to think of ideas and constantly in the idea phase. And sometimes it's, it's followed by a fail of like actually implementing them and putting efforts and energy into them. So I would say like in a situation like this, now is the time to focus in on the thing that will make you closer to your goal. Think about what your goal is. I'm talking to you guys if, as if you're Jeffrey, but put your focus into something that is more so a likely path to the thing that you are trying to achieve right now. Try not to be focused on the other shiny things in the picture. Future card now. Ooh, okay, okay. Seven, seven of wands, woo! I've always seen, cause you're gonna have to see his face for this bit, because I always see personally, he looks determined as hell. This is basically saying that whatever he's currently going through now, is gonna put you, put him in a position of having to defend himself needlessly. Like. He's being quite aggressive, like he's trying to stamp that wand into the ground. He's being determined about this. So in a way, it's a little bit of a warning that you're, you know, you might not be honest about something right now. So that's interesting. He might find himself in a space where he's having to like prove himself and to defend himself in something, which is really interesting. This is being challenged by others for one reason or another. Some people have something to say about an, a way you're being and you're having to fight for your right and your space and your place. It's about protecting what you've earned and it's about having a space that you've worked hard for and you're protective over. You've got a, if you're in the public eye, if you've got a lot of audience, if you've got a lot of pressure, if you're the leader in some way, you're gonna be easily for yourself, you're putting yourself in this, in, this in this position really. There's a lot of pressure that comes with that and you're gonna see yourself in the space all the time. So it's, it'll be interesting to see what comes up in the, in the near future to see what this might be talking about. So I would definitely say for, for Jeffrey, there's some sort of increase in trolls and haters and people that 
have something to say and maybe I would encourage him to, to see a lawyer or he might even have to have a lawyer deal with, help him deal with the situation or some sort of professional. Now if this is a, on a more creative side it might be something that he's had to fight for because it's kind of getting in the way of something he's trying to pursue of a project or something. There might be like an external source that's getting in the way of him like doing this project that he really wants to really badly do. But whatever it is, it's always gonna be about standing your ground. So that's the bottom line of that, really. Now advice. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Nine of swords, but it is in reverse. So this is basically anxiety. This is staying up at night, worrying over something. It is in reverse though, so as advice, to stop worrying. This is to let them go. They're taking up too much space in the mind. So there's definitely something right now with all the things I was speaking about with this overwhelming nature and it's it's a lack of looking at the situation objectively. So this is just unnecessary worry. I don't keep your problems in the dark. I would say maybe he's hiding a few things, putting a brave face on for public, um, you know, let others in. Um, open up to people about something that's bugging you and now is a good time to come clean and in a sense it, it symbolizes like an end to a nightmare because this person's up in bed like crying and stuff so any form of nightmare quote unquote nightmare is coming is coming to an end which is a positive definitely and is a good time to start looking ahead for possibilities instead like freshening things up and having a more positive approach to stuff because it's, it's gonna go that way anyway things are gonna take a turn so let me know if, if that resonates at all if you know anything Ah, <sighs> okay, so that is the end of this video now. I feel like I've gone on forever. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comment section below. Like this video if you think it was good and you'd like to see more. Would you prefer me to do a far one on one person or short on a few? Let me know, or maybe you don't want me to do any more ever again. I understand. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching video. Thank you very much for watching video. Thank you very much for watching everyone. See you soon. See you in about three days on my channel.